Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for September 1st through the 15th, 2021. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new and as always, thank you for the likes and the subscribes and all the thumbs up. It really does help the messages spread further. For those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world um, at this point and this has been my full-time work for over three and a half years now. So the link below the video um, to my website, all the information is there for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can read about the benefits, definitely check out the testimonials page, and you'll see I offer a 15% discount for first time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way if you feel called to do so. Um, other than that, we are building to the new moon, which will be in Virgo on September 6th. So that's it for Shop Talk. We'll get straight into your readings. Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is going to be for September 1st through the 15th, 2021. I have already fully shuffled, so let me just do a couple more for you here. And we'll get straight into your messages. Okay, beautiful Sagittarius. First up, we've got Ace of Cups, Ten of Wands, Three of Swords. There is love coming in for you that you may not be fully open to at this point. I can see that you have a lot going on in your life. You could be feeling quite overwhelmed with work or family stuff or um, just a lot of things and people needing attention from you. But I do see this Ace of Cups as love, as romance. So it could be somebody new coming in or somebody that you've already been dating and getting to know. Um, it could be a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. But just be aware, Sagittarius, that with this Ten of Wands, that is a card of taking on way more than we're able to handle. And it is a choice. That card is like self-induced overwhelm. Because if you look at this character, if this character were to put down those wands, carry them a different way, ask for help, they would not be feeling this way. So I want you to be mindful of that. Where in your life do you take on more than is necessary? And it could be a pattern from past pain and hurt. By always being busy in work or with friends or family stuff or whatever this is that you're um, busying yourself with, it can be uh, because of past pain and that helps to distract and block from truly receiving uh, this beautiful love that wants to come in for you. So what are the things that you take on that maybe you don't need to be taking on? Being aware of that is really where your place of power is because you can start to be more discerning in your choices and also recognizing what from your past is unhealed. What relationships have you not fully faced or dealt with um, the emotions or the pain or if there was hurt around that because these daggers in the heart, these swords in the heart here have been here for quite a while. This is not a fresh wound. This is a very old thing that you've been carrying because it hasn't been properly and fully um, dealt with here. Next up, we've got four of swords, the fool card and the knight of cups. So this is interesting because the three of, three of swords and then followed by the four of swords. It's almost a message that these three of swords are the same ones that are kind of in the dagger here and it's been swept under the rug. It's something that you haven't faced and dealt with yet and the four of swords here is highlighting that. That it's time to maybe reach for this sword and face that part or face that past uh, within you because in order to move past it, you've got to face it. And I do think that you will because next up here we've got the fool card. 
And the Fool card is facing this Four of Swords. So if you've been avoiding or putting something off for a while, Sagittarius, I can see that you're getting to a point where you're ready to face it and deal with it, which is amazing. The Fool card helps to let go of the baggage, release things that we no longer need, um, lighten our load, so to say, and get us more on a path of um, joy and happiness and really enjoying the journey not um, focus too much on where it's going or where we've been, but just really enjoying the journey and being very present. And the more healing and the more that we release from the past, that is how we're able to feel. So they kind of go hand in hand. And then I love that the next card out is the Knight of Cups for you. This Ace of Cups has now grown into the Knight of Cups. So this person interested in you or that you've been dating or dealing with or that is coming in for you, their feelings will get stronger for you. And I can see that this is going to happen because you're going to be more available to receive this love as you focus and heal what you've been holding on to unknowingly that has been kind of blocking you from having to truly be open to love. So the Knight of Cups, here they come. They've got their offer, they've got their love, and they're coming for you, Sagittarius. They want you. And this is really beautiful because the next card out is the Six of Wands. This is highlighting that there will be celebration. You know, your hard work will pay off. And when I say hard work, I mean the hard work that you're going to do on yourself by facing this, by, um, you know, feeling your way through this. You're letting go of some of those wands. Look, you're dropping from a 10 down to a six. And if you continue with that, you will get lighter and lighter. But I just, I really like this six of wands because it is showing celebration here. And it's, you know, it's kind of like a team effort. So I don't necessarily see you uh, healing and getting through all of that completely on your own. You may need some support and guidance from a therapist, from a friend, from somebody who you really respect their opinion or uh, the wisdom or maybe experience that they share with you of their own journey. That could really help you um, with this healing. So the Three of Pentacles is always a collaboration and it's receiving the input, the support, and the help of others. Uh, when we can't do things on our own. And I love this. Your final card is the Two of Cups. So Sagittarius, here it is, the hard work paying off. You receiving this Ace of Cups, this Knight of Cups love and energy um, and person and what they have to offer you. So you're finally available to face this soulmate, eye to eye, heart to heart, soul to soul here. The Two of Cups is a legit love card. It's usually a soulmate, and soulmates do help us to grow and expand uh, further on our path. So I think this is, you know, the very first card out is the Ace of Cups, which is just the other person, and the, re the reading is ending with Two of Cups, which is the two of you. Both of you having your cups ready to really receive and give uh, this love. Beautiful. So I'm seeing a lot of water out here. So it could be a Scorpio Pisces or Cancer that you're dealing with. I'm also noticing um, some fire energy. So if it's not another Sagittarius, it could be an Aries or a Leo. Um, but those are, well, actually there's swords energy out here too. So it could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Don't get too caught up on the signs. Um, those characteristics, they can shift and change. We can all embody them at one point or another. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Let me see any other message that I have for you. All right, Sagittarius, you've got music. Beautiful. You know, a lot of the messages in this reading for you have to do with healing, and music can be a really huge part of that. Meditation music, music that you just love and get lost in, it really can allow space from the thoughts and the thinking and to get more in flowing with that spiritual energy and feeling the music. Um, so this can be a, a really important part of your healing and tuning into the self 
uh, in these next couple weeks. So, you know, maybe choose music that you wouldn't normally listen to. Try some soundscapes, try some Tibetan singing bowls, try some meditation music and see how you feel. See how that goes. Okay, let me get you a spirit animal message and then we'll wrap up the reading here. Okay, wow, there it is. Sagittarius, you've got black jaguar, old soul. Walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dreams. Beautiful. Focus on what you really want. If it's love, then you have to look at what's in the way of that. And that's what you are doing here. You're lightening your load, you're letting go of burdens and opening yourself way more up to receiving um, that love. So I love this spirit animal message for you, Sagittarius. I hope this resonates. If not, no worries. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, or really any other placement of Sagittarius. Um, if you missed, oh, and thank you for the comments below the video. I do love reading uh, your comments. If you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. Uh, I have been a full-time master energy therapist for over three and a half years now. So the link below to my website, all the information is there for you. You can read about the benefits, uh, check out the testimonials page, and you'll see I do offer a 15% discount for uh, your very first distance energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. Um, but I think that's it, Sagittarius. I'm wishing you a wonderful start to September, and I will see you back here for the second half of September readings. Take care.